Yes, it's Red Band, coming to you live from the world famous comedy show for a brand new episode of Kill Tony, Volume 2. Give it up for Tony Hensclay. <laughs> How you guys doing, live audience? Yeah. Come on, it's a Monday night. You're coming from Tomato State. Make more noise than that Monday. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. Another great episode of Kill Tony. Brian Redband, everybody. The man. Hi. When you hear, when you hear any noise or any music, just know that it's coming from the guru himself. The one, the only, Brian Redband. Yeah. And keep it going for Pat Reagan, everybody. Fresh back. Back to the Montreal Comedy Fest. One of the most talked about new comedians there. Uh, Pat Reagan, playing music for you guys. Pat, did you have fun in Montreal? Yeah, I had fun, man. I met a French girl. It was two nights before, uh, two nights before I left. Lisa Perrault. Lisa Perrault is her name. It's a beautiful girl. Uh, took me around Montreal. And... Uh, had a great time at the festival, Tony. You fell yeah. in love, didn't you? I, I kind of fell in love a little bit. I think bit. I still see one of her armpit hairs in your teeth right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> French girl, this girl's are crazy. Did you, did you hook up with her? What was that? Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of butch, right? I might, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, she, I mean, she had just a regular amount of hair, not like, it was like trimmed, kept, kept nice. Was it a weird brawl that she had? Because I was I no. with one French girl and they had like a weird ass brawl. It looked like Sears brawl. She had a broken bra. Yeah. Yeah. Weird Sh trimmed bush, though, for a French girl, huh? Yeah, trimmed bush, yes. Interesting. Interesting. How was Montreal for you? Montreal was amazing. Had so much fun. Uh, roasted a bunch of people. Roasted Gilbert Gottfried. That was a lot of fun. The great Gilbert Gottfried. I said, uh, if you think his eyes are always closed, you should see his wife's when she's fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, if you look up Gilbert's IMDB page, like, he he's accepted, like, every shitty role that's ever been offered to him. I said that Lil John wrote the song, Turn Down For What, while listening Gilbert talk to his agent. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Gilbert do a show. Do you have any more, do you go Gilbert jokes? No, I have nothing else. Gilbert, <laughs> I, saw Gilbert on, uh, I saw Gilbert on the Dr. Katz panel, and him and Jonathan Katz just like traded old like street jokes, and one of them was so funny, Gilbert was like, Gilbert was like, uh, Stevie Wonder! Goes to a Passover Seder. <laughs> Good start. And then he's like, somebody hands him matzo ball. He takes it, feels it, goes, who wrote this shit? <laughs> it's so funny hearing Gilbert tell these jokes. Uh, when Gilbert does these things with his comedic timing, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, the, the, Pat Reagan doing that is proof for all you haters of Gilbert. Proof. Proof that Gilbert's voice is not what makes him funny. Uh, it's clearly his whippersnapper timing and uh, not the timing of Pat Reagan. Yeah. I have uh, different timing. My timing is a little like, it's, it's it takes you a little longer to get get to, it takes me longer to get to, it takes everyone a longer time. You know, my timing is uh, always dead on. And, <laughs> and what's funny is that you actually stopped me while I was doing killer jokes just right down the barrel. <laughs> So that you could do a, a Gilbert Gottfried joke that Gilbert Gottfried said, and you made it, you 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 disrespected Gilbert by bombing the joke. Like even though I'm telling jokes about insulting Gilbert, you truly insulted him the most. Somehow. Sorry, Gilbert. But one more, uh, one more down the, one one more for you guys. Uh, the last one was I said that uh, it's a triple banger. So try to stick with me here. Because Gilbert's... Okay, forget it. Anyway. Uh, Gil... No, I'm going to do it. Okay. Gilbert's so short, old, and Jewish that he had to use a footstool to drive a nail through Jesus' hand. Think about that. It's a three on one. Guys, I heard the uh, Death Squad are... Uh, Family, fan, or our family, our uh, favorite podcast network in the world, where, where you can find Kill Tony, uh, had a show this Wednesday. This yeah, we uh, we had the Monday off because you you were out of town, so we put together a great show. Tom Green uh, finished it off. Oh, it you awesome. did that here? Yeah, we did oh, it right here in, in this room. It was almost sold out. It was great because we announced the lineup at like three o'clock in the afternoon. 
So uh, it was a fun time. So thank God we kept this room going that while you're going. That's the kind of magic that can happen if we ever cancel this show. Please. Yeah, we just have sell, sold out comedy shows. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited to be back. This is our first show in two weeks. We never take a week off, but I was in Montreal. Guys, are you ready for Kill Tony? Yeah! yeah. Always so much fun. Uh, this is the show where we talk to comedians after they do comedy for 60 seconds. Uh, and they always talk to me, Brian, Pat, and... Uh, Two amazing, amazing guests that I always have on. Uh, two different guests each week. This week is no different. Uh, put your hands together for... It's just Trevino, right, Josh? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, for right now, hey, just buddy. Steve Trevino, everybody. <laughs> Joining us momentarily, also, Steve Simone. Thanks, buddy. It's, right. ju it's just Trevino. That's, no, that's not... No. It's nobody special. It's just fucking Trevino. No, that's not what I meant. No, the only way there's two guests. No, I wouldn't say just It Trevino. hurt my feelings a little bit, oh, though. Yeah, right. I, like, just I could have heard this. Look at this. He's an actual man. Look at this guy. <laughs> just yeah. a real beard. This isn't uh, one of your little emo fucking fancy... Heck what, yeah. are they, what are they called? The hipsters? Right? These, it's, 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 they look like men, kind of, and then you see their jeans, and you're like, oh, that's a bitch. That's... <laughs> That's not a man, that's a pussy. Man. Now, while you still have a man's beard, I must say, it is fairly trimmed. It, Pat, did this at all look like the French girl's uh, vagina? A <laughs> little bit of that? You hooked up with a French girl? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. <laughs> you approve? <laughs> Fucking guy. Do I approve? I mean, if you're wearing skinny jeans, you whatever you can get, right? Fuck it. <laughs> With your, with your bangs and your curly cue you got hanging out of your fucking head. <laughs> Pat Reagan, the, uh, the band leader of this show, oh, yeah. takes a lot of heat from the guests every week. <laughs> the band leader, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he's the one-man band. It's like if there was room for a band, we would have a band. A whole fucking thing, right? A whole thing. <laughs> for a drum set, we can get a drum, yeah. but there's no way to put a drum set. There we, we go. There you go. There's a, there's a lot of drums happening. Fuck yeah. Well, TV we'll show, get a band. It's a whole yeah. thing now. Tony, I haven't been here in a while. You got this yes. guy over here. And yes. uh, also, how can I, the, the only guy that I constantly forget, even though I want to always mention him, Ryan J. E. Belt, everybody, the house artist. Throughout this episode, he is going to be, uh, as he's been doing for the last couple months, he draws the entire episode as it happens. So by the end of the episode, he's going to have a drawing that we're going to show you at the very end of the episode that's going to be of this episode. It's unbelievable. He does it. He, that right now is blank, and he's starting right now. I'm Mexican. It's like a criminal sketch. Like, it's court. Yeah, it's yeah. court yeah. drawing. It's fucking yeah. court drawing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Guys. There's a whole thing going on here. This is exciting, Tony. Yeah, welcome back, Steve. Now, Thanks, last man. time you were here, was Pat here, or was it the robot? It was the robot, and then I think it was me and Dom Herrera. Right. Who was, who was here. Oh, that's so fun. It was a good show, man. I love it. Good show. Steve was one of the first people to ever take me on the road, and uh, and I'll be opening for you soon now. <laughs> and uh, one laugh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was me actually. Don't thank him. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this guy's perm is fucking fabulous right here. That's oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Caveman uh, spending the Geico caveman retirement money perfectly. Way to get that thing. Way to kick it up a notch. That's Brad. We go rock climbers get her. Shout out to Stronghold Climbing Gym downtown LA. Wow, look at that. A little uh, promo out there. A little shout out to a climbing gym. Very good, Pat uh, Can you do it in Gilbert's voice? Shout out to no, Stronghold no, Gym! No, no, it's okay. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Guys, uh, my point is that, Steve, you gave me so many great notes when I started out. You're a lover of comedy. Oh, I love uh, you've done so much fun stuff. You can find his special right now on Netflix. What's that called again? It's called Relatable. Steve Trevino Relatable. It's on Netflix. Relatable. Thank you. Yeah. Don't, clap, don't clap too hard. I, I'm Mexican. We're not allowed in this business. <laughs> uh, unless, you're, unless you're George Lopez, and he's the only one that's allowed. I love that. That loco, George Lopez. <laughs> I shit on my people, and the industry loves it. <laughs> hey, it's me. Oh, no. George Lopez. Jesus. Oh. It's the same impression. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. There it is. Again, the heavy drums tonight. Rip Van obviously <laughs> debuting a new drum set he's gotten in the past two weeks. He's I really was excited week. about. Really excited. Pat, did you have a question for uh, Steve? Yeah. Sure. Hey, Steve. Okay, say so you got, uh, how, what would be your survival tactic in prison? Yeah, well, I've, I've actually been to jail, uh, so I would just fucking kick some ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, an honest answer. An honest answer. I'm a grown fucking man. You know what I mean? I do what I want. Right. As a matter of fact, come here. Sit right here. <laughs> oh. 
gonna make you my bitch. Come here, sit down right here. Your little baby jeans. I love that. <laughs> Trevino is one of my favorites. So find a special uh, relatable on Netflix. I also have one on Showtime as well, not to brag, but uh, there's one on Showtime. Called Grandpa Joe's Son, if you want to look up that one as well. I'm surprised you don't have anything on cable since you're wearing the hat of Larry the Cable Guy right now. Uh, <laughs> Look, my sister's one titty bigger than the other titty. Does Gilbert have anything to say about this? <laughs> uh, guys, this I is will fuck you later. Uh, <laughs> uh, seriously. Guys, this is the show where we talk to comedians after they've done 60 seconds of stage time. Comedians, it's piled up in the back. You know your stage time is up, your 60 seconds, when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aww, that's adorable. Wrap it up then, or else you're gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Yeah, Brian, yeah, Brian hates the podcast listeners. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just somebody push, fired at work. Just push them away as fast as you can, Brian. Please. Perhaps bring out your gay drum set some more so we can all hear you aimlessly beat on drums. Right. You can tell by the way you're playing that that you that never had one exactly of your child. Like the roots. Now you're overcompensating. That was exactly like the roots. For the that drum perfect. set your parents never bought you. Uh, your timing is so bad on that, it might as well be Pat doing a Gilbert impression. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so I pulled the name out of the bucket. Over 40 comedians signed up for the chance to do 60 seconds tonight. It's always crazy. Your first comedian doing 60 seconds tonight and then talking with me and Steve Trevino is Albert Escobedo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy! It's unbelievable that uh, 40 people waiting for a spot and one of them signed up and did not show up. Albert Escobedo, you have been blacklisted. He's done. Play something. Okay, <laughs> Gilbert. The Mexican kid got blacklisted. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you shouldn't. I don't know why I stopped Usually you. Usually you have me do a sound effect. Right. right. I used to play so what were you, you going to do? You were going to do a Gilbert thing. Ah, wah! A dirt ass whack! Can we get the rope on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing good, Andy Samberg. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love it. You just picked up the girl's jeans, the French girl's jeans, and just started wearing them. I love your style, Pat. Right? <laughs> These are mine, bitch. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Hopefully he's ready to be in show business. Put your hands together for Dan Nolan. <laughs> uh, I ordered a Vietnamese prostitute and she showed up at my house three hours early. She wanted to love me wrong time. <laughs> I just started an exercise and every morning I run for three miles straight and then another three miles gay <laughs> so I'm uh, training for a biathlon <laughs> I just found out a bunch of my dads are gay <laughs> I used to have a really cool collection of rare coins then my house burned down. Now I have a really cool collection of medium well coins. <laughs> I just started collecting stamps. Or not stamps, uh, EBT. They don't call it stamps anymore. <laughs> I'm doing good. I uh, finished with school finally. I didn't graduate. I'm just fucking finished with it. I'm going to be a comedian, everybody. We're going to get through this together. How about that? 51 seconds of Thunder and Michael. Can't know when I'm in love with you. Where do you come from? Uh, New York. New York, New York City. Um, no, well, yeah, kind of. You, you the Hudson been, Valley originally, and then uh, I lived in the city. Yeah, that's well. the same. You've been yeah. doing stand-up a few years. Three months. Three months. You wrote all those jokes. I swear, yeah. Holy oh, yeah. fucking shit. That last one I'd heard uh, before a few times. Whoa, which yeah. one? Brian from nowhere with just hatred. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nothing really funny about the, what he just said at all. Yeah. <laughs> but sure, go ahead, Brian. Which one? Uh, the quitting school. I want to actually, yeah, I've heard that many times. That's an old joke. Uh, uh, there was another one. I can't remember. Str running straight and then... Running gay? And running yeah. gay. Yeah. I, that's a funny joke. I feel like it's there. It's ha it has to... So there has I mean, to be some somebody's crossed that. that path, but those are good but, jokes. You know, like, it's funny. I, I think you did a good job. But my thing is, your jokes are like set up punch and you fucking forgot to set up on one of them. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have three lines, and you're like, oh, no, EBT. I was at the joke. Oh, it was the joke. The stamps? That was the joke? Yeah, you can't get yeah. Yeah. That stamps, was it. That stamps, was the whole? You need food stamps. Okay, you want to get rid of that one. You want to get rid of that one. <laughs> you now have a tight 40 seconds. <laughs> I love your style. Uh, you have such good jokes, it makes me wonder why you're wearing those pants. <laughs> well, he's on his knees a lot, apparently. <laughs> Another way to survive in jail. I mean, those things are falling apart. Did, were, you, were you gonna make them into shorts and just well, leave them in there? It's a whole thing on the side, like he sews. Yeah, this is all ripped up. The whole thing. I whole got this at a flea market for a dollar, uh, like eight years ago. Fuck yeah, you did. <laughs> I would have guessed Neiman Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, your jeans, did you do that to them? Uh, no, this has happened over the last couple months. They're now shorts, just so you know. Just go ahead and take <laughs> yeah. off the rest. Oh, but that's, that would be ridiculous. Well, he did a lot of walking, going door to door, having to alert the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. I didn't know where you were going with it. Yeah, yeah that's good. You know, what's funny is that because he had the Sarah Palin shirt on, so they thought, oh, is he a campaigner? No. <laughs> Actually, a molester. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you have them picked as a molester. I have them for much more of like a cannibal type of. Yeah, like, sir, like yeah, like the uh, like bomber, like yeah, the rare cannibal. Uh, Comedy store gets shoo shot up today. I call a lot of people molesters, and, and you really can't shooters. see, can you? Because uh, from my angle, your eyes are fucking huge. Like, yeah, I, well, you they really you can't see for shit. Oh right? uh, yeah, I got pretty shitty vision. What's what's your prescription? Um, well, they're about to nerd out. It's actually only like 20. How many times did that happen at Comic Con? <laughs> <laughs> Mine are way worse than his. Really? Yeah. yeah. His yeah. look pretty. They look pretty. Maybe I'm. Sh I mean, I'm like. Jeez. I still think you did a good job. Oh, well, two, two brand new comedians over there, and you guys have worse eyes than Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this though, man. Honestly, on an honest note, if you're gonna write jokes. Like you do, mm -hmm. that's a tough. It's hard, man, because you got to fill an hour when you start headlining. Right, yeah, I just started years doing now. bits and stuff. I'm like trying that. to finish. Right, okay, sorry. so you're already getting on top of that. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, it's hard though. You know what I mean? If you're gonna write jokes, you know, it's, I mean, Tony, Tony does jokes, but and he'll tell you how hard it is. I mean, you got to fill 45 minutes. You got to do a lot of fucking writing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But good luck. Yeah, you know, no, I think you're funny though. Yeah, I got like I've got like 50 jokes that are like that, that kind of one liner 50? shit. And then, but that's but that's and like, those are the that's fucking four you picked. That's about it. <laughs> so you wrote those in three months, or have you been writing uh, like for wrote, like years, and then you just decided to? I started on Twitter. I started, I started out with like like 20 jokes. I only do about five of them still. Um, How old are you? 28. Just what have you been doing up until three months ago? Uh, I used to work in television. Uh, what did you do in television? Uh, locations assistant, location manager for some movies and stuff. And then I went to jail. With your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> you called it. Went to jail. <laughs> yeah, there's gosh darn police and their rules against eating human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you go to jail for? Uh, driving without a license, but I went for six but months. But I'm white and got out. <laughs> no big deal. I kept getting. I was on probation for a DWI, and I got arrested three times because uh, I, I kept getting caught buying heroin. Uh, yeah. So I never. Yeah, I'm four months clean and sober though. Four months clean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I walked out of rehab and I just started doing the same. You oh. let, but you're wearing your fucking drug addict clothes. Yeah, these are <laughs> It's time to get out of the drug addict clothes. I actually, went, I, I, I drug, didn't dress like this when I was a drug addict. When I was a drug addict, I used to dress nice so I wouldn't get caught shoplifting. <laughs> your right, your shirt, oh, just, your you shirt is still outfit? on heroin. <laughs> you wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> His shirt has tracks. <laughs> I think you could have gotten away with shoplifting. I mean, you, you know, Robert Durst got away with shoplifting. So. And he was also a serial killer. Did, no, that's what that's what brought him down. He got caught stealing a sandwich, and then he ended up back in jail. Did you shoot heroin? Yeah. <laughs> You're way too, you way too chill about. No, no. But here's here's if you have all these experiences, you should be talking about. Yeah, that no, shit. I, I do now. Yeah. You know, yeah, oh, after that, oh, two months in there. You know, see, and you start, month number four, I really started getting into some deep shit. <laughs> so three months ago you started stand up, but four months ago you quit shooting heroin. Mm. Uh, do you ever, when you're, when you're, so I got into comedy when, to get clean. When you're ever on the microphone, like, do you see the the cord and ever just want to wrap it around your arm? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every time I put my belt on in the morning, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How many uh, blue babies do you have? Blue babies? What does that mean? Oh, uh, what? Transpiring babies. Uh, nice. Oh, what? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, you, you're on the right track, Mark. Uh, <laughs> uh, really? Really? 
that, I guess? That's all that? That's all you were gonna get that? You think I have that locked and loaded? Something that I do all the time when I have the heroin people are on? No. Let me say, uh, the life of stand-up is much better than a drug addict. Yeah, you're gonna oh, yeah. shoot. You're gonna it's shoot. Really not. You're yeah, gonna well, shoot your way sick. right to the top. <laughs> you seem to have really good stage presence though for only three months though. Really? Like, I mean, you seem very. You comfortable broke the bubble. Stage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I go up like four times a day. Like, just I keep chasing it. that dragon, bro. I spend <laughs> <laughs> four times a day. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do good for you, man. Second. Yeah. Every day, I, I spend all morning going to AA meetings and then all night going to <laughs> open mics. What do you do for a living? Uh, nothing right now. Um, yeah. Where do you live? Uh, I live in a sober living house out in West Adams. That's really? awesome. Yeah. It's a, it's a gay men's sober living house. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not, you know, I just went there. But the blow, <laughs> the blow jobs are amazing. <laughs> who's, who's, get this who's dick book did, deal. Whose dick did you have to suck to get in there? Literally. <laughs> And those, the, all this stuff, you guys have to talk about your life, man. No, I, I, I do. I didn't want to do new stuff. Uh, it's, I've been doing that stuff for like two weeks, and I have some like really good stuff that, that's been working really great. I just I didn't want to do it on this if I got picked. I knew I'd go to the old stuff, not the old stuff. You got a bag of really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and instead, you came up here and just talked a bunch of smack. <laughs> you came in a balloon. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever thought about doing balloon animals? Uh, with their <laughs> <laughs> Does heroin come in balloons? Uh, it, well, the, the stuff out here does. I did it in New York where it's powder, but the tar stuff comes in balloons. Yeah, don't you know anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, what kind of rock star are you, Pat Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to do heroin. Uh, Dan, I had so much fun with you. Uh, get working on that actual real life shit, because you have so much interesting yeah. premise, and you're such a good joke writer, clearly that if you combine those two things, you'll be unstoppable, and I think you'll be a comedy addict. <laughs> Dan Nolan, everybody, yeah. there he goes. He's on Twitter. And Dan Nolan, 22, all the way. Dan Nolan, 22. Having fun, we're back, you see that? Yeah. It's like a well-oiled machine. I got a little tech bomb coming out. Uh, how am I doing over there? Am I looking good? Uh, if it's anything like you look in real life, it's not looking good. Uh, <laughs> shit's gonna go bad. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Uh, put your hands together for her. We know her. It's Edie Gibson, everybody. <laughs> Blacklisted if she. Oh. She's on her way. Is she coming? Here she is, Edie Gibson, everybody, live in the flesh. Not a black comic, even though she's late. Edie Gibson. It's me, Edie Gibson. Okay. Um, okay. What do I want to do? Oh. So this is a really good show. Um, I was just at a show yesterday at a sports bar. It was so bad that the black guys were actually watching hockey. <laughs> Like, this did not want anything to do with the show whatsoever. I love to be a comic because I love to do a job where I can drink. And it's either be a comic or be a whore and surprise. I just found a way to do both. <laughs> I haven't been to a bar since I, my friend Kathleen came to visit. And uh, she, I went to the bathroom and she came back and she goes, someone put something in your drink. Don't worry, they were really hot. <laughs> like, dude, what's wrong with you? It's so fucked up to drug someone and have sex with them. You don't have to do that. I'll fuck you for the drugs. <laughs> like, that's just where I'm at. <laughs> I'm poor, I want drugs, fuck the middleman. Unless the middleman has drugs, then I'll fuck him too. <laughs> that's good. Uh, you guys nice that was good. Yeah, fuck yeah. you guys. Uh, oh, let me do this one more thing. Yeah, Can I? Uh, people, like, I know you guys are judging me for doing drugs, but uh, people who judge me for doing drugs never have drugs, and I don't want to be their friend. <laughs> I love that. You know what I love about it is that you are committing to a premise for a while. You're staying in that pocket, and it felt real to me. Uh, I think it got quiet because I think a lot of the guys started thinking, "Fuck, I wish I had some drugs yeah, right now." Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the sound that I heard go over when me and Steve, professional comedians, are here laughing at her, and you guys are all quiet. I want to fuck her. Yeah, exactly. You got uh, drugs? You look like you want drugs. Who, me? No. I'm married, honey. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going home after this. That's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. I thought it was good. Though. I gotta tell you, though, it was really good. I just don't think it fits 
your character. That's why I think people are like, oh, that sweet girl's talking like that. That's what I'm about, though. Are you really? Is it really it is, what you're about? Like, yeah, it is true. That's good, then. But you got to sell it more. Yeah, it's a truth. you got to make them believe. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Exactly. And, 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 and all these dudes are like, okay, we got to get drugs tomorrow. <laughs> and, and come back to the comedy store. You know how many Captain save hoes are in here right now? Like, I can change her. I can get her clean. That's what everyone's thinking. And that's... They're totally right, because when you start talking about that, that's, that's what guys everyone's thinking. Is thinking. Like, I can get drugs. And Edie, 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 what if I told you that I know a guy that could get you some heroin? <laughs> And, and <laughs> you should also maybe do a premise about how like some guy tries to drug you, but he doesn't know that you like drugs, so right. it's taken it's something. taken forever to fuck you up. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like this bitch is taking all my drugs. <laughs> she won't pass out. This fucking bitch has a tolerance. You know what I, mean? I do have something about one time I worked at a bar and someone drugged my drink because they didn't know I worked there. But jokes on them, I was gonna use the money to buy drugs anyway. That's good. Yeah. And uh, what's your drug of choice? Um, I like Vicodin, so far. Oh. So that's far? Like, so far, that's... It's not like the heaviest, but it's like the chillest. You can just do it whenever, you know? You don't have to be like fucked up, super fucked up on it. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I like your style. You're like Amy Schumer meets Amy Winehouse. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we know that this is going to end. But with, but with, but <laughs> a real but with tra- talent. A real train wreck, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's an Amy Schumer joke that you guys might have missed. Uh, I thought she did good, though. Thank you. I think it was smart. I, I think you guys didn't give her any credit. It was very well written. It you know, one, one note that I would give is when uh, you Actually, find out Actually, fuck that, a dude on stage. <laughs> but when you find out that they roofied you, uh... I'd have you say, well, is he hot, instead of your friend being the funnier one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, I know. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really good. It's the horse of truth, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you guys have... Yeah, I guess I forgot to mention in the beginning of the show, there's a horse of truth that when I say something super honest, uh, you'll hear that horse. Uh, and you'll probably hear it a few more times tonight. <laughs> Edie, uh, what drug she... won't you do? I won't do meth or heroin. Why? Um, Too much fun? I, uh, <laughs> not, not ready for that point in my life yet. Uh, yeah, not ready yet. for that. Keep doing comedy. You'll be <laughs> Keep doing stand-up. Well, why do you think you love drugs so much? Um, that's a good question. Why does anyone love drugs so much? Uh, Pretty dope. I don't really feel great. Because there's a hole in your heart. Yeah, it's yeah. to escape. And you need to fill it. <laughs> the girl hole in your vagina gets filled with cock. And the only way to fill your heart is with drugs. Thank you for saying that. Everyone, give it up for this guy. And the jokes. I love it. Edie, uh, how long have you been on stand-up? Three years. What's your favorite drug? Vicodin? Yeah. And what do you drink while on Vicodin? Um, yeah. Do you drive while drinking on Vicodin? No. No? Maybe. If you, yeah, probably. <laughs> if you or one of your friends has a drug problem. <laughs> We'd like to take, this is a special rehab version. Sex take by the bell, remember when they all say, Tina Gibson started Vicodin in 2012. This isn't even really an episode of Kill Time. This is, this is really yeah, it's an intervention. It's an intervention for you. <laughs> All these people, uh, your family's actually in the back right now. Doing drugs. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's not your fault. Okay? Fuck yeah. It's not your fault. <laughs> kind of is. No, no, no. It's not your fault. A lot of it's my fault, I feel like. Thank God uh, for bad stepdaddies, huh? Fuck yeah. The... Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. I like you. I, you. <laughs> I love this show so far. We went from, you know, okay, forget it. It's a drug, Edie, it's a drug show. It really is a drug show. You guys very want to talk to I'm dating a girl uh, right now who is a... French Chris, maid? Crystal. We know about that. No, that's not. That was, in, that was in Montreal. I'm dating a girl who uh, is, uh, was like crystal meth addict at 14 and went to rehab. It's crazy. She sounds like a real winner. <laughs> no, she's cool now. She's cool now. Is she's that cool. why she allows she works at Russell? She's, she's got Are you shit jealous together. of that? I like her I like her attitude that she's like, oh man, what a fucking loser. <laughs> that's, 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 I, I just do I just do Vicodin and yeah, suck yeah, I, 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 I just currently do Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Well, years ago did man. Which by the way, oh, that bitch did drugs. <laughs> brings me to my next question. Are you jealous of the girls that like can do meth and heroin and you know, like stay pretty? 
I've always wondered uh, that about girls. No, I've never even thought about that. Whoa, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't really convincing. Um, I've never really thought of it that way. But when you, but when he said meth, you said, well, you know, she doesn't have her life together. But well, fourteen is pretty young to be doing meth. But like, because I'm twenty six. Oh, why are you all fucking judgy all of a sudden? Because I'm twenty six. I mean, you got to look at the positives. Like, at least people on meth like clean their apartment and shit. <laughs> Thoroughly. I, I've hung out with people on Vicodin and sh that are drunk, and it's like the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> And there's no painkiller strong enough to hang out with a person yeah. that's drunk and on Vicodin, even though there is. It's like it's like Down syndrome alcoholic. Oh, you know? it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, Edie, great stuff. I love that you're talking about your actual life and things that you actually love, and that's like the most important thing. If you keep chipping away with that, chipping away at that joke. You might have a career before you die. Adding, yeah. adding some more lines to it that you're not like just... You. See, you get it. Adding some more lines to that joke that you're just not going to snort. I think it's going to come out really Your comedy is not going to lose any teeth. Cool. Yeah. Edie Gibson, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. She's on Twitter at Edie Gibson Comedy. All one word, Edie Gibson Comedy. Fuck yeah. I'm excited I, about this. I thought so far. she was one of the girls that went on after the show. No, she's done it before, though. She yeah, she's, she's like a like one time. She's yeah. uh, big in our death squad. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of the fun rising comedians. In the world. Uh, I think this guy's been on before. Chalice Robinson. Is here. here we go. Chalice Robinson, everyone. You're laughing because you're at anyway. Jack, we'll talk later. Um, so I had to stop drinking hard liquor because uh, apparently I'm an asshole, my friends yelled as I threw up on them from the backseat of the car while getting pulled over. Uh, they did say, hold that shit though, but trying to hold your throw up is basically like trying to hold your throw up is nearly impossible. Uh, I had the shit come into my hands, did a wave onto my face and over the front seat. You know how people yell, hey, watch out for that pool of oatmeal. I'm the guy that goes, huh, and falls into it. Don't worry about it. That's just how I looked. Don't think about it too much, you know? It's like the only, the only night that I actually ended prematurely and had a bunch of dudes be mad at me. Fuck yeah, you went for it. Solid, uh, solid 45 seconds. Yeah. Um, now, let me just call this out first. You've been on the show twice, am I correct? And both times, I found out that your middle name is Calrissian. Am I correct? <laughs> what is it? Is your... <laughs> it is Calrissian. As in Lando Calrissian, the mayor of Sky City from Empire Strikes Back, the second Star Wars movie. Like a wow, super a famous... black nerd parent. That's awesome. My mom has never seen the movie. No. She just liked Billy. I just Billy. like that motherfucking name. <laughs> That's her. That's my black impression. By the way, they say black dudes have ass. You do not see more ass on a flounder. Look at this. Show them the lack of shitter that you have. Yeah, and you have stuff in your pockets. That's like a California girl trick. You know, girls from California all have flat asses, a fun fact, because I'm from Ohio. Uh, where girls have corn-fed asses. <laughs> anyway, it's something, cold. something that I learned. I've been out here nine years, and I've realized that California girls do this thing because they don't have asses. Like, and I mean, not everybody born in California, but there's something weird about, like, I don't know, the water or the hemisphere or fucking something. To where their asses are flat if they're born and raised in Southern California. Where are you from? I'm from Virginia. Virginia! Well, this is a little different. I'm, I have a different point. And my point is this, is that what I've noticed that these California girls do is they put stuff in their back pockets, like notes and like wallets and Paper. cell phones and yeah. all this stuff to try to fill out an ass that's not there. I, anyway, my point is... I got some stuff for I'm you. On to, you want, I'm on to you guys. You want to put that on the back of your... Maybe that'll help you out a little bit. Is that a Slim Jim handkerchief? No, it's Lone Star. Oh, okay. Texas. You ever see a girl with, like, a really big you're butt real and really tight jeans, and she's got her cell phone in it, and you're like, she's going to break her cell phone? <laughs> yeah. I was still seeing that. Dude. Good thought, though. <laughs> so, Calrissian. Let's, <laughs> talk, let's, let's talk about let's, your set. Let's, let's talk uh, no, he, he, you have to be a comedian, because filling out a job application has got to be a motherfucker. I don't put the middle name. Yeah, with Calrissian. Yeah, even the first name is tough, but I don't put the middle name. What's the first name? Shahalas. 
Shahamus? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> You're oh my godding that. Look how it's spelled. Oh man. <laughs> Holy shit. C H A L I S S? Yeah. It's That's spelled fucking awesome. Chalus. And how do you say it? Chalus. But there's no second H. <laughs> just, you say Chehalis. Just give me an extra high in there, man. Just come on. Well, he's no. gay, so it's Chehalis. Uh, hey, let's <laughs> you, say, you say Chehalis. Not gay, man. Don't, don't spread that one. <laughs> it's, no, it's, wait, whoa. You're not whoa. gay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being gay, buddy. Yeah. If, he's, if, he's from Sky not City, gay. not Guy City. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. long have you been doing stand up? Uh, two years. Two years? Yeah. Yeah. Almost, almost. Not what did you talk about again here tonight? Oh, you don't want to, no, right. I think, that was, I think that was a big problem of it, right? right, right. Like if you're gonna say I like I could throw up, it was like holding back throw up. You got to come up with something. Right. right. There is definitely like, something. I was trying to think of it. It sort of reminds me of like I don't know if you have you ever had to when you're driving like pee in a bottle or something like and that. And once you start, like, right? Like, right, and it it's just like too much because you have to pee that bad. It's gonna be more than usually. The, it's like, but it's not really that. But there's obviously there's things that else. get overfilled you know, right. because you can only hold a mouthful worth of pee. Talk. I actually, by the way, <laughs> in, oh, in, in, in Toronto uh, last weekend, I was at a bar on mushrooms and I actually puked in my mouth, <laughs> held it, uh, swallowed the whole thing uh, back. Because you don't want to lose the mushroom. And like, the bartender gave me a shot because he witnessed this. He goes, oh, damn, uh, that was amazing. <laughs> 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 He's like, here you go, buddy. You deserve this. He said it was the play of the week. Is what he oh. Said. <laughs> oh. Jahalis, you ever done mushrooms? No. Nah. No drugs, Jahalis? The only drug I do is alcohol. That's it. I don't even smoke weed. Anymore. Don't get mad at me, buddy. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking questions. You know? Of course, of course not. Uh, well, I, look, I, I, you know, you, there's, you got a lot of work to do. Is what I'm saying. I mean, right, 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 right. You know, the throw up story could be really funny. Just fucking make it funny. <laughs> I, I did. Comedy, I'm comedy 101, dude. Bodily functions. I'm, I'm What's always your, fucking funny. What's your drink of choice? And don't tell me it's Colt 45. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hennessy it was played by Billy D. Williams, who was the Colt 45 Hennessy. guy. Hennessy. You fucking idiots. <laughs> don't say Hennessy either. No, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't really drink hard liquor. That, like, I only stick to beer. So what kind of beer? Pretty, like, Free. Uh, like, well, I'm gonna say this, and you'll be like, "Oh, Heineken." So, I'll be like, oh, Heineken. Yeah, I like blue moons. Things that are spelled weird. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just, just, Give me the beard that's hard to say. Heineken. I guess it's not that hard. To say. What do you do for work? A retail. Store. He's black. Come on. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll they don't work. Bricks. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck you. You told me before we got out here to be funny. That was. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Are you doing? No, Steve's sleep. from Texas, everybody, where you racism sleep. is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Even if there's no punchline. In Texas, you tell a, in Texas, you tell a racist joke and they tell, everybody gets quiet and goes, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, Hala, so how long have you been playing basketball for? <laughs> I'm just trying to match Steve's racism. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What do you mean to go to this for gay umpire that just walked in the room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy just had. I've said it before, he always asks. It's okay, what do you do? I'm over here at retail store, Walmart. Oh, why, why are you mad at me again? Walmart. <laughs> well, he just said this. You're like a little defensive. Let me, let me pull these up so you don't think I'm angry. <laughs> You're a little angry. You're a little upset. I don't like it. I'm very uncomfortable now. <laughs> okay, so when you were puking with your buddies, let's, let's try to get back to this material here. Okay. Why were you puking? Oh, I had too much to drink. Too many Heinekens. No, 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 no. I was everything. Let's like, get into what the, it. Didn't you just say you don't drink hard liquor? But this is this is this is this is a part of why. So then that's why you got to talk about that. Well, yeah. I usually drink beer, yeah, yeah. but this night, what happened? Uh, too many drinks, man. Just I had a, I had a friend that worked at a bar and he was hooking it up. You know, Long Islands and, and tequilas and. and just, <laughs> Said too much? Why it's got to be tequila? Because I'm Mexican? Yes. <laughs> and it had the worm in it. Just tequila doesn't have the worm, actually. Well, it's mezcal. Man, whatever. Same shit. You're mad again. <laughs> 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 no, I had, I, I had too many drinks. That's that makes a good comedian. Angry people make good comedians. Chalice, <laughs> Chalice, where, where, where do you get up? Because I've seen you here I've seen you here three times. Uh -huh. uh, where else do you get up? Uh, Hollywood Hotel. The hotel? Yeah. 
Shout out to the Hollywood Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's where I've seen you the most. Like, yeah, I'm there, I'm there three times a week usually. Yeah. Fuck yeah, just banging French hookers. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Um, Chalice, I love the fact that you dress exactly like Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> It does a little bit. Yeah, right? definitely. That's without the jokes. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. It's hard to compete. Louis C.K.'s been at it a long time. How long yeah. you been doing it? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah that's, that's Dude, half the battles yeah, getting yeah. on stage and not being so defensive when somebody's trying to help. You got it. You command the stage really well for two years in. Command the stage, and a lot of people who do it a lot more years never even learn how to do. So you got that working on it uh, towards you. I think your issue is you're not talking about anything. So it's like either right, either either like either like like the uh, the dude with the. If the, at any point hair. you just want to punch Pat in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You have my like, full permission. It's my show. Like it'll be art. Because like, because Tony, because Tony was saying like, oh, what was your set about again and stuff? And it's like I'm trying to remember. I guess it was about thro- it was about throwing up. But I'm like, I mean, yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, not not throwing up, but just a drunk night that I had. Yeah, who's a comedian whose material you would like to have written? That I would have liked, would have to, liked to have been like, oh, I wish I thought of. That. What's happening? Who's right one now? of your favorites? <laughs> um, I like Hannibal, Chappelle, of course. Uh, I, yeah, I, I say right. So black dudes. No, no, I like Bill Burr. Yeah. One of my simple. favorites. I've I, seen all of them. I, I um, most of with, with your favorite comedian. I'm glad you like Hannibal's a beast, man. And you know, he every thought that he says is thought out. You got to fucking write. You sit down and fucking write it out. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can't respond to you because you'll be like, "Oh, you get angry." I don't, I don't, yeah. Yeah. You see, see, see what's happening here? It, it is. It is. <laughs> it's a whole cycle, guy. You know what I mean? It is really, really hard to write, but you just got to do it. You know, you got to come out, come down from your cloud, and uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, on the smooth Lando. Uh, <laughs> Chahalis Robinson, yeah, everybody. Get some, he gets pulled out of this fucking a lot. Very lucky guy. He's on Twitter at Yo P. Parker. We love you, Chihalis. Figure out the puking bits, but it doesn't make audience members want to puke. Yeah, and, do, the, uh, do some squats. Shit. And fuck yeah, Trevino's the ass police for the night. So, for those of you that signed up that don't have a big fucking shit in the last. If you don't have a nice shit, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like a newer name. Put your hands together for Chase Holtman, everybody. Thanks, guys. Uh, when I was in college, I once had a, an acid flashback while I was taking the written final for my badminton test. <laughs> uh, that's true, that did happen. Um, I I passed though, I got an A, and I, I passed it with flying colors. <laughs> but I just remember being really annoyed because I'm trying to take this test and I memorized all these rules of badminton and the paper kept changing colors slowly, so I'm just coming up what they're going to throw at me. Last question. Last question is for 50 points. 50% of your final grade, badminton 103, what color is the paper that this test is printed? <laughs> That's all I got, guys. Oh, yeah, 57 seconds. A well-written acid joke. Yep. You didn't trip over any of the words. <laughs> and may I just be the first to tell you, you have an amazingly Wonderful ass. I I mean, it's incredible. Even I I, I looked at one point, like, look at all the junk in that trunk. It's a nice poop. Big thighs, fat ass. (laughs) Today's today's theme is drugs. Yeah, it goes along. Don't say, nothing pisses me off more than when comics go, true story. What the fuck are you telling us then? You know what I mean? Like, if it's a true story, just tell the story. Like, comics do that. They'll be on stage, uh, for all you fucking open mic guys, They'll be on stage, they'll tell three jokes, and then the next joke they go, all right, true story. Well, what the fuck was the rest of the shit you just said? You know what I'm saying? Don't say that. I think I, I, do, I, I take issue with that, because sometimes like I'll do jokes. Because like, uh, you know a lot better than I do. I'll be like, I'll tell a joke where I'll just be like, uh, uh, well, I actually, Steve, I actually left uh, your management company who I was with for an actual management company recently. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 o
Uh, but see, Call me when you're on Netflix. All right. Uh, so my issue, my, my issue with that is just like, all right, sometimes like I, I do jokes that are completely not true, and then I'll say something that is true, which is fucking balls crazy who no one will believe. So when he's like, that, that's, such a, that's such a ridiculous statement that I think saying true story makes me be like, oh, it's actually true. Because a lot of, especially white guys with glasses, we tell jokes that are based in false premises. So of course. I stand by it. <laughs> well, do what you want. It's, it is a tricky thing, you know. Uh, Netflix are playing the guitar on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Shots fired. Shots fired, everybody. Uh, no, and I, I respect your opinion. It's all, it's all what you want to do, but in my opinion, because the things that I do on stage are all real, and everything I do on stage is from my real life, so there's no need for me to ever Chase, go, are you the same you know, way, or are your other jokes oh, mostly real, or do you have like a... Uh... I think the, the challenge with me is I'm not so real. I, a lot of the stuff I do is very, you know, fitting the white guys with glasses. Is, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a, a stereotype. But oh, whoa, what's, I, the, I tried what's the stereotype? Doing like, <coughs> clever shit that's not really based in anything real. Uh, right. So do you have a lot of that, or is I, it mostly real? I know how the industry is now. You'll have a deal in a month. <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you on that? <laughs> Chase, are you on acid again right now? Like, do you Don't just be do... angry. We already dealt with that. Okay. No. Do you just do acid before everything? No, I don't. Fuck yeah. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I do tech. Tech no! Oh. Now that now that is a stereotype of yeah. the way you look. Uh, yeah. That's incredible. That's what do you do for tech? Uh, so, uh, kind of IT. Stuff. If it disgusts you, I don't. I can't even. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you, you want to get it, it yeah, it's very technical. Yeah. Pat, can you explain to me what he does at the tech company? Uh, no, with no, with those glasses. Anyway, it uh, varies by the day. Those glasses and those bangs. So I missed the beginning part. What, you were actually taking a badminton test. Is that what we, you were talking yeah. about? Where was this at? Like, why would you? This was Chapman University. And they actually have a badminton class. It is badminton yeah, 103. What are badminton 102 and 101? <laughs> this is a kids game, right? Badminton. Well, it's, a, it's an Asian game. <laughs> it's like, it's it like, is. We touched on something. Thank you guys. It, I, you ever seen anybody else play badminton? No. <laughs> I mean, there was a written final. In that class. I mean, was this a required class or was this? No, no. So you just took badminton. For PE. Oh, PE. you getting a little angry? Can you step over there, please? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was for PE. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Uh, for PE. It just seems so weird. Like it, when you were talking about, it, I was like, wait, what the fuck? Did I miss? You were a Boy Scout or something? Like I, like it seems like maybe you, you could try to make up some. Ex Reason why you took badminton? I have no idea. It just it, I've never yeah. heard of a, a badminton that, that's a college. Yeah, that's ridiculous. What kind of college? <laughs> that's ridiculous. I also <laughs> took a frisbee class. <laughs> it's just a, wait, 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 a, wait, a, wait a second, wait a second. Wait no a second. joke required. Wait a second. Are you sure that you just don't think you were taking these classes because you were on acid? <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Is this to fry extreme? Like, what kind of college is it? <laughs> Dude, I tripped so hard that I just got a fucking master's in Frisbee. I was there on a scholarship for, for badminton. Chase, it, yeah. you do a lot of drugs? I mean, this now we, I, I'm not. I'm actually surprised. I thought you were going to be the one guy that I, we've seen tonight that hasn't done drugs, and then you jump right into, even while taking a college test, you were on acid. It was a flashback. It was a flashback. Yeah, right? well, you, uh, yeah, it was oh, a yeah. I'm not. I'm not usually on drugs. I'm, I usually drink or get high. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't do drugs except I do drugs. She doesn't do <laughs> math like your girlfriend. I do some drugs, but I'm not usually on drugs. No. Uh, if there was a heroin addict in the room right now, what would you say to him? <laughs> The greatest sound effect of all time. We can play it any time. It, it, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chase, it makes Chase sense. are you dismissing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> What the, what the hell? hell just <laughs> happened? Yeah. No more drugs. I love it. You're just, you're, you're, you're just gonna flash back to your seat? After all this, after all this we had, Chase? Well, that was cool. Later. 
<laughs> you can never dismiss yourself. Please. What are your parents like? Where are you from? Uh, I've always been in SoCal. My parents are kind of hippie, you know, baby boomer parents. This is your parents, right? Okay, okay. Chase, you can be anything you want to be, Chase. Just go out there and do it. We support you. Chase, here's, Chase, here's $30,000 for a badminton class. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the frisbee class. <laughs> Pretty angry. <laughs> I got a degree in hacky sack. <laughs> With a minor in. Whoa. <laughs> Chase, you gotta write it before you start talking. <laughs> I don't know how you think we do this magic, but uh, we think of the thing first. Say it, twi say it twice in your head. <laughs> you got it yet? <laughs> Yeah. Chase, I like your style. Uh, I'm going to send you back to your seat. So much so much fun to meet you. You have a great thing. Good job, Chase. Yeah. Thank Chase you. Holden, everybody. Chase Holden's a funny underscore quote. Funny underscore quote. Uh, guys, our second guest is here. Um, one, of, uh, one of my favorite comedians in the world. Uh, one of the most talented people. Put your hands together for the great Steve Simone, everybody. <laughs> Sit back down. Josh, get Steve Simone. <laughs> I'm a Josh. I love it. Steve Simone is the first guest, guest to ever get blacklisted. <laughs> that just happened really quickly. Don't say that. You're going to hurt his feelings no, for real. Yeah, no, <laughs> Steve's one of the best, nicest guys in all of comedy. Yeah, he actually is the nicest guy. He's at the Children's Hospital right now. Wait, what? He was at the Children's Hospital. That's where he's coming from. At the TV Ooh. show Children's Hospital or an actual <laughs> Children's <laughs> Hospital? Wow. Jesus. Boring! I mean, <laughs> I'll let the nice guys do that because those children, you know, go fuck themselves. I mean, let's face it, they've been spoiled, you know what I mean? They get everything they want every fucking day. Children, kids in children's hospitals are the only kids that get, get to eat pudding like three times a day. Um, oh, you laugh, but I'm serious. I don't... Pudding's got drugs in it. Fuck yeah, for this room full of drug addicts that we have. Josh, where's Steve Simone? He's not here. <laughs> I just got a text from him saying I'm here if you need. So Josh, I don't think you're doing your job correctly. Maybe that's no, why. He is not physically here. That's the problem. If you can go, Steve Simone is here, and it. Steve Simone's here, Josh. It's the producer, Josh Martin. Everybody, Josh Martin. I'm in the chair, downstairs. If anybody should know that our other guest is here, it's him. But it's okay. And the waitresses, give the waitresses a big round yes, of applause. Comedy store. Yes. The black and red, the darkness of the comedy store. Look at that sleeve. It's just me. There's not two of us. Oh, wait, true. It's just uh, her, everybody. She needed a little extra attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. she stopped the whole thing to let us know it's just her, by it's the way. Just me, asshole. No other waitresses tonight. So we'll Maybe more. Chase. All right, I'm just going to bring up the next comedian. And then Steve Simone's going to come out. He's a great guy. Put your hands together for Tan Fam. <laughs> Hey, um, so I've, I've set a new personal record. Uh, for the last five weeks in a row, I've not talked to a real live woman. <laughs> more than, not more than I've talked to Siri. Which is hard because I don't even have an iPhone. <laughs> Ah, it sucks never getting laid. Nobody has ever thanked me for all the pineapple juice that I drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Almost makes me wish my socks could talk. But they can't, their lips are stuck together. Yeah. 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 One of the nicest guys in the world, Steve Simone, one of the funniest comedians. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? This guy was killing, huh? Damn, very funny. Damn, yeah. fam, everyone. So funny. Very funny. 
He just killed Tony. That's how it happens. That was awesome. Really fun. Tam fam. Unfucking un believable work. Unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, the, the best part about it is nobody doubted. <laughs> Nobody will say, wait a minute, he got some pussy, right? Like, it was, it's, everybody's like, yeah, poor bastard. Like, like, it's definitely coming from a true place. Uh, he knows Steve. his character. See that chase and, and the fucking black, what's his name? The, the fucking, what's his name? Uh, Chahalas. Sky? Or what? Chahalas, yeah. Chahalas. Chahalas. You, know, you know your character, man, and you did it fucking well. You're really funny, man. Thank you. Really funny. What kind of agent are you? <laughs> Vietnamese. Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude, I don't think we have one of those. I, lo I love your style. Vietnamese? Yeah. On a scale from one to five, I give you a foe. <laughs> I give that one a couple of weeks ago. Fuck it, it's so good I did it again. It's just so good. Oh, God, my brain is amazing. Tell him, I don't give a foe. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Fam. Now that's your real name, right? Yeah. And you used to wear a shirt that said at Tam Fam, and you wore it all the time. And you'd come up here and you'd kill all the time. And we would always tell you you're unbelievable. Just lose the at Tam Fam shirt because it seems too desperate. Now you've lost that shirt. Have you noticed that sets have been going better since you lost the shirt, or it's just a shirt thing? Uh, they've been about the same, but I do feel better on stage. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Very it's a feeling. The shirt's a feeling. Right. It is. It's important. You know. It's important. And I would also recommend not wearing your socks that you use uh, <laughs> in the bedroom on stage either. That'll make you also feel better. How do, you, how do your parents feel about your stand-up comedy? Uh, I haven't talked to them. In a while. They think it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't talked to them in a while. I went for it, you assholes. <laughs> Sock jokes, everyone. Remember? Remember what he talked about? All right. How do they feel about it? Uh, they don't know. They don't know? You're in the closet with your comedy? You're gonna sit them down at the table one day? Mom, Dad? They have I deep comedy. They, they have deep closets in, uh, you know, the Vietnamese culture too because they all live in dry cleaning places. So. That's why the shirt was uncomfortable. <laughs> They've ne did they know that you do it? Is there a starch joke there? Oh, Jesus. No, there's, 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 there's not a starch joke there to answer your question. Uh, Steve Simone, now we heard a rumor earlier, somebody yelled out from the audience, they go, he's at a children's hospital. Yeah. Is that true? That's amazing. You're like a hero. Um, those kids are... Oh my god, you hear that? What did he say? <laughs> he's okay. the only comic in town that when you say he's a nice guy, it also means that he's funny. Because in comedy, if somebody says, oh, is that guy, you know, what about this guy? You go, oh, he's a nice guy. That means he's really fucking not funny. <laughs> but he is the nicest guy and the funniest guy. Good for you, Steve. Yeah, right. Steve. Steve. Uh, uh, Tam Fam, have you ever done any drugs? Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Uh, I tried marijuana once. You think, uh, <laughs> I like that he calls it marijuana. I tried the marijuana once. Yeah, I tried the uh, THC breakdown of. Uh... <laughs> Did you buy that shirt when you were high? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, it looks like it's like the Radio Shack collection from Macy's. <laughs> wow. Look at this. A little roaster over here, Brian Redman. I did marijuana once, but my eyes closed so closed that I couldn't see. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That was mean. You do have extra closed eyes, though. He looks like an Asian guy skydiving. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, Tam, so you tried marijuana once. What happened? Um, I didn't have a, a pipes or a paper, so I emptied out a big pen and I stuffed it in there. And uh, what? Yeah. The first time you ever smoked weed, you invented something to smoke it out. <laughs> That's so. amazing. <laughs> I think the plastic melted and I got the fumes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it would melt by the Yeah, way. you're not going to be an engineer. Tell your parents that you, know, <laughs> you don't have a career. <laughs> so you inhaled the fumes, and then what happened? Uh, dizzy and nauseous for six hours, and uh, that was the last time I tried that. What did you do for the six hours? I uh, just uh, lied in bed or went over to my toilet and just uh, sat there for a while. You just sat on the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> like, Who were you with? Were you with any friends or you were solo mission? Uh, by myself. Oh. 
That's a terrible one. Of course! <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you didn't even make like a little sock puppet that's <laughs> or something like that? So, where did you get the weed? I want to get high with you! <laughs> do, do you have like a bunch of volleyballs that you've drawn faces on around your bedroom? <laughs> I love your attitude, though. You're like, I'm gonna smoke weed today. <laughs> so you went out, found some fucking weed, yeah. then got to the house and were like, I didn't plan this very well. <laughs> I need a pin. <sighs> fucking hilarious. You gotta talk about that shit on stage. <laughs> Whatever. Secrets. That's the worst thing. the whole thing. Um, I think you're really funny, though, man. Really, really do. I really think you're really funny. You did a hell of a job, man. I'm impressed. Like, there's not much I can make fun of you on because you did really fucking well. Thank you. Give him a round of applause. Don't be dicks. He did really well. Have you, have you been getting spots there at the comedy store? You have not been getting spots here at the comedy store. Well, they're going to make you a part of the fam yeah. any day. Yeah. Uh, you, you're awesome. You should be, you should be getting up because, I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's amazing watching you. And I'm so glad that uh, we've met. And so uh, I'd like to have you Friday on the Ice House show if you Whoa. want to. Wow. went from the rice house to the ice house. Everybody. I heard that, brother. Amen. Tan fan, thank you so Actually, much. Actually, the lice house. Yeah. He's like Tan fan kind of. Yeah. Exactly. Do you have anything else for Tan fam? I'm sorry I didn't check. Uh, no, I caught the end of a set. I was coming in and you can feel it in the audience. In 60 that. seconds, you cut the whole thing. <laughs> but you can feel the people loving it, and that's what comedy is. It's how the audience takes it in, and he just has it. It's a, you know, it's a gift. Some people have it. I'm going to bring up a special uh, third guest uh, just to sit in with us. Josh, you have an extra chair for her? Uh, another one of the funniest comedians who was able to just swing by at the last second. She's going to finish out uh, the show hanging with all of us. Put your hands together for one of our favorites in the world, the great Tiffany Haddish. So, no, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna let you sit behind the table, but I'm like, no, they need to see all of this. You know what I mean? Like, all of these. How y'all doing? Always stop. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up with you, big daddy? <laughs> His pants just got tighter. He hold down. Well, yeah, Tiffany, it looks like you and Pat have a little chemistry, huh? Mm -hmm. You know how to handle that big piece of wood right there. <laughs> wow. I don't think she's talking about your guitar. Yeah, I'm talking about the guitar, you guys. I, I don't know what, if that other wood is big or not. I don't know. Yeah, I like that she threw a yet in there. Some dude like said, a... nope. <laughs> Some dude in the back said, no, I tried it. It's, it's not that big. But yeah, Pat, uh, what do you think about the amazingly lovely Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany's great, I'm just taking it all in. Yeah. I, I bet you are. Hopefully she'll take you in sometime. <laughs> Damn. Who keeps going to Hayo? Who am I gonna not talk to after the show? Who is it? Which one of you? I, hate, I fucking hate Hayos. So just don't do it again. Yes! If that's what you do when you hear unbelievably hilarious shit, go kill yourself. <laughs> just do it. So that's not how you laugh. And I'm not doing hail fucking jokes. <laughs> Go watch Leno, whoever's doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you for listening to me and just killing yourself. <laughs> Obviously, it was too hard to not just say hail. <laughs> so you took perhaps the most permanent route uh, by shooting yourself in the head. <laughs> um, fuck yeah. Let's get one more uh, human being up here before we go to our two amazing regulars. Tiffany, you ready to meet a stranger? Hell yeah. Tiffany Haddish is here. Steve Simone is here. Steve Trevino. And your next comedian is Kate Peterman. <laughs> Teachers told me what happened. Thank you. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, un, uh, <laughs> lifted the floodgates on 26 years worth of cum. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> he drowned. He's dead now. So. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> While he was there. <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> here's a, a drastically different uh, subject. Um, <clears throat> uh, fun fact if you do yoga every day, you are more likely, or your odds of Instagramming a picture of you doing yoga on a rock are increased by nearly 100%. That is true. That's. Ooh, sorry. So, <laughs> you said, you just said not to. I'm good. That's it. Thank you. And that's exactly a minute. Hey, you were talking about yourself. You were talking about you and an experience, and you were killing, and then you told us uh, if you were on Instagram doing that, and you saw how that worked. You see yeah. the difference yeah. in talking about you, about your own personal things, mm -hmm. and then making an Instagram show. Now, so let's get to the good stuff, which was the stuff about you. Mm -hmm. uh, did you really just lose your virginity? Yeah, let's go. Wow. Wow. Your virginity? Yeah. Did you bleed? Oh, shit. Did it smell come out? <laughs> Brian, stop it! <laughs> stop it right now! You do not do that! Bad! No, bad! Bad! Yeah! Bad man! Where's the fucking horse of truth? Play the horse of truth! <laughs> you better play that! On you. That's what you get. Bad. Bad. You're bad. <laughs> oh my God, Brian. What did it smell like? Bro. Well, I did, you know that's a lot of you know cooking. That's a, I, I didn't oh. know if there was. Oh like, no, no. <laughs> Don't you? No, you stop. No. You know, like no, old yogurt has around the corner of the yogurt. It smelled oh. like sex musk, man. It just probably was sex musk. Now, just I want to know why was you holding on to it for so long? Um, I was raised really religious, so I... Jehovah's just... Witness, sir? Uh... No, just Catholic. Just Catholic? Well, I usually give it up early. <laughs> <laughs> You and, you and Tam Fan need to get together. Tam Fan? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what made you decide this guy was the guy? Oh, I, I just wanted to lose it, so I just picked a guy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Where'd you go? Like Applebee's? Like you just pick one out? Find the first black guy you can find? Great, like, great question. No, no, you definitely don't start with a black guy, Brian. What? <laughs> Carve it out early. I started with a black guy and look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking white guy. Yeah, that's where you are. <laughs> are so much funnier when you're not wearing a camel hat. <laughs> uh, well, so is that true? You really just found the first guy you could find? You just, you just said, fuck it, this is it, I'm yep. going for it. And Did you warn him? Did you say this is my first time? Is that a picture of him around your neck right now? <laughs> Tonight, and I'm gonna end up being jealous that I didn't see that first. You need to put that in the attic. Oh God! What is in that? What is? What is that? Uh, this is a, uh, it was a gift from my sister. It's an alpaca. It's just an alpaca. of course it is. Oh, the alpaca thing. What was the first guy you did it to? Was he fine? Was he just a rant? Like, was he ugly? Did he smell good? Like, what did he, does he have a job? Like, what? No, I, <laughs> no he don't have no No, no, no knuckle fuck before he, that? Or? No. Oh, 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 come on. Wait, let's come answer on. these guys, first oh, questions. Guys, then you, then you answer you start with a little guys. Trevino. Okay, let, take it easy. Let her answer this first question. What the Trevino and like Red Band, will you like stop stuff, being it? gross, all right? I know, she got finger names and Steve Simone that. just came from a children's hospital to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be too big of a transition. Hey, welcome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, kids. Come on, it, so, Kate, answer our questions. Okay, right, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, uh, he was really good looking, that's why I picked him. Where'd you find him? On Tinder. Yeah. Yeah. Your virginity went to Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> that's a 
crazy? Did you go back for seconds? No. You didn't? I, wanted, I just sent him home. Right. Just sent him home? Gotcha. Now, now, you did, did it, now, I just want to know this, because I remember my first time. Did it feel like a fire stick going into your <laughs> vagina? <laughs> no, she's in her 20s. You were nine. <laughs> <laughs> But I was 17. I look nine, but I was 17. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, the, the clown horn of angry. Motherfucker. Fuck yeah. That's why your auntie fucked you at 10, bitch. Yeah, All right, let's keep it on cake, guys. Hey, keep that, it on cake. Do that horse noise again so the fucking hair can remember where it came oh. from. Recycled plastic, bitch. <laughs> I go green all day. You understand me? You put a, you put some fire by this shit. It will melt like a Tupperware bowl. So Don't smoke you. weed out of that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that last dude tried to smoke weed out my hair with me. Oh god. Okay. Anyways, girlfriend. <laughs> Did he finger bang you? Thank you for asking. Yeah. Come on, Kate. You gotta yeah, answer yeah, these yeah, questions, yeah, yeah. or they're just gonna yeah. keep roasting each other. <laughs> condom or no condom? Condom. Yeah. Condom. Now, like you said, you're super Catholic, and this was your first time, and you went on Tinder. Like, is it really Tinder? Is there like some like Catholic Tinder, like crucifix or something no. like that? Or... Okay. Did it did it hurt at all, or have you been masturbating for years and you already had that thing open, so it wasn't like it was nothing? Or... Right. Because Catholic combo, Catholic girls combo. normally combo. Yeah. combo. Combo. Yeah. First of all, it, look, I'm a little uncomfortable, and you have you have balls to come up here and talk about this. Give her a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. The night. If anything's going on, it's funny. There's always people talking about real things that they yeah. really did. That's why we're having so much fun with it because yeah. it's real shit. Yeah. And, it ha and your fucking character is hilarious too. Yeah, you're I'm telling you, you, and, you and Tom Fan go on the road together and I'll <laughs> <laughs> never get laid yeah. to her. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Tom. I'm from Texas, damn it. Uh, <laughs> I don't care what it's Tim. He's in my country. He's a Tom. Tom Smith, bitch. That's what he is. Uh, that's what he is now. Okay, so wait. Hey, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, like a little over a year. It's cool. Where at? Uh, just open mics. How long have you been in LA? Uh, two years. Okay. I like your style. Please come back again soon. Yeah. 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 Last words for Kate Peterman. Anyone? Uh, Steve, are you ticklish? <laughs> Brian, not you. Wait, I just want to know one thing. Okay, so you're so pretty. To me, you're very beautiful. And I just want to know how, okay, so how do, do you drink? Do you smoke weed? Do you anything? You do all that stuff and you were still able to hold the pussy? How? <laughs> how can you do that? Teach me. I wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't like a thing. Like I was like batting away a whole bunch of offers. It wasn't like that. It was just, I was never, like, just didn't, not like a sob story or anything. It's just, it didn't. Well, if you want to go back for seconds, just follow me on Twitter. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 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 I want her and Tam Fam. I want her and Tam Fam to get together because you know, I think it'd be oh, really, be awesome. I think it'd be really, really great for him to hook up with a foe. <laughs> it's a callback. It's mean. It's perfect. She's laughing. She's laughing. Hey, you assholes. Keep it up. Okay. Need more Kate women. Peterman, okay. I love you. Please come back again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Kate Peterman. She's on Twitter. K-A-Y-T-E-P-E-A. K-T-P. I think, I think Kate Peterman should give a little wham-bam to Tam Fam. Oh, oh I like that. She won't feel it. She won't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna have to feng shui that shit. <laughs> Kate Peterman, everyone. Brand, brand new addition to Bill Tony. Fun to meet these people. Well, and it's also, you've contributed a lot. Dude, I'm just hanging out having laughs. Oh, Trevino, come on. Be nice. Come on. Uh, we used to live together. 
No. Did you know that? We were roommates? I know, I was just setting up for a joke, but oh, forget no. it. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the part of the show where, out of all the people you've seen tonight, most of them, brand new. Maybe they've only been on a couple times. However, the next two comedians do this show every single week. Since the show started over 115 episodes ago, they write and perform a brand new minute every single week. Not at the same time. Separately. Your first comedian tonight, uh, doing her usual minute, you know her from this show. And she's one of the fastest rising comedians. Put your hands together for the great Sarah Weinshank. <laughs> told me never to get tattoos so my whole family could be buried in a Jewish cemetery next to each other. But then she went out and got eyebrow tattoos. <laughs> my grandma has face tattoos, guys. At 80 years of age, she decided that having perfect brows was more important more more important to her than being buried next to her holocaust surviving relatives. <laughs> it looks like my grandma's tattoo artist got tired because half of her face looks surprised <laughs> and the other half looks seductive. <laughs> Eyebrow tattoos just seem so permanent, but if you wait till you're 80, they seem less permanent. It's <laughs> always my favorite thing is to see uh, when one of the regulars just has a new minute that you could just stick it anywhere. You could open with it, you can close with it, you can put that anywhere and um, all the other stuff that you've made, like that's easily a guaranteed, that's right in the right in the form. I mean, you're talking about an actual family member, you know, and that's unbelievably great. Uh, Are they really different looking? Like... No. I mean, they're just... They're fucking scary, but they're not different looking. What color did she go with? She went with the strawberry blonde ink. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can you pick that color out? I don't know. I was going to tie that in, but then I was like, I think I got a minute. But did you pick it out? What? Did you... Did, well, she's a redhead. Not anymore, but she, her hair is dyed red, so, right. yeah. Huh? She got strawberry blonde. Does she still get to get buried in the cemetery? Yeah, they've, yeah. they've made, a, you know, adjustments. <laughs> for her? For the Japs in the community. <laughs> wow. Interesting. It's really interesting. Good, good so job. is your grandma in a resting home, and does she have a boyfriend? Because why does she give a fuck with her eyebrows? Okay. <laughs> yes. First Great of all, she Stop has pushing. a boyfriend who just friended me on Facebook. I have yet to accept. How old um, is she? She is 85. Wow. So your grandma's fucking. Yeah, my grandma's she's not fucking, but she's working the system. Is okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, she like on Tinder or something? Yeah. Well, actually, my she on, what is she on, Rotary Tinder? Yeah. <laughs> 85 years old, just fucking hooking up. She goes to the, um, bereavement. I swear to God. Get the hell out of here. She's a real Jew girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Jew girl, that's funny. An 85 year old Jewish lady. You... <laughs> so, did that guy have an extra bullet in his gun that killed himself in the middle of the audience earlier? When do you really get to say Jew girl? <laughs> Fuck it. Anyway. Well, if a Jewish person made a. Never mind, and a black person made a. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a second. That's what Tiffany is. Wait, you better oh. hope Tiffany doesn't figure what out. What you about Lord. to call me, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> what you about to call me? Guys, back to Wine Shank, even though I fucking love it and could watch this all day. <laughs> Texas versus powerful black woman. Uh, I mean, it's just like fucking the most perfect. Why isn't Somebody NBC, will die. Why isn't any sitcom on top of this yet? Because you know we're mean? Mexican and black. Oh, yeah, that's right. But uh, I'm Jewish too, though. I'm circumcised and everything. <laughs> uh, I mean, any, any more last words for Wine Shank, guys? I think that joke was I fantastic. Think you, I think you're very close to graduating from this position. You're, you're amazing. Is anybody taking you on the road? Or I need to get you out on the road somewhere. Maybe you're great. I, you did Thank amazing. You. That was awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. There you go. Uh, Trevino was one of the first people to let me over for me. It's great notes and it's so fun to work on. Yeah. I'd love to see that happen. She great. Sarah Weinshank, everybody. She did it again. Princess Shank on Twitter and Instagram. Follow her. 
Call in an ex comedian, the other regular who always does a brand new minute, always fun. Uh, she's been doing, she started, her very first time ever doing comedy was on this show. She's been writing and performing a new minute ever since. It's the one and only Kimberly Condon. <laughs> having kids for as long as possible, uh, which is really hard because I'm Hispanic. <laughs> I feel like I make out with a guy and my period's late. <laughs> uh, but kids are really embarrassing. Uh, and I remember embarrassing my parents when I was younger. There was a time my mom took me to one of those uh, fountain parks because it was free, you know? <laughs> and it was one of the ones where the water came up and spewed up, and I ran right over to one of the things and sat on it. Uh, and I let the water hit me in the vagina. Uh, and my mom yelled, Kim, don't do that. And I yelled, no, it feels good. <laughs> but eventually I got up because I had to get ready for prom that night. <laughs> Thank you. Our senior Latino correspondent, Steve Trevino. I thought it was I thought it was great. I think you touched on being uh, Latino, and then you kind of kept moving on. I don't. I, I hate when Mexican American comics get on stage and the whole act is about being fucking uh, Latino. And you, you're great. I mean, you're really funny. You too. I'd love to take you on the road too. I think Thank you, you graduated from this. That was awesome. And I, you know, you always do the turn. You know, because I had to get ready for prom. Mm -hmm. You know, you should also say maybe that you know you were already pregnant or something. You know what I mean? Oh, it's <laughs> prom. One, I had to bring one of my kids with me. You know something. <laughs> Girl, you know what I'm about to say. That water be making it ooey. <laughs> and you a little water baby. Shit. Oh, that motherfucker like aquamarine. Oh, all, the girl, all, the girl, all the girls at the pool with their hands on. With the jet, just fucking feeling it. I feel like I got inspiration because I was watching like one like a kid do that at a fountain. And I was like, man, you can't do that as an adult. You can't. <laughs> you can't just go over and sit on it. Yes. And enjoy it. I think that's a funnier joke. I think that's a funnier angle to go. You know, I can't do that as an adult, but this kid's about to come over there. <laughs> this lucky bitch, seven-year-old host. <laughs> Every time you hear a sprinkler, you get wet. <laughs> Who knows where the fountain ends and the squirting begins? <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so fun. Yeah. That's another brand new minute. I mean, that that's another just like what Weinshank did. I mean, that's another minute that you could slide right into anywhere. Uh, it's totally. Uh, <laughs> I'll work on You're gonna laugh at shit that's accidental. You fucking idiots. <laughs> really? But I say juger right in the moment, and there's nothing. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> the thing I've been doing lately, I go full heel on the audience. It's <laughs> my favorite. Everybody, I mean, anybody else who hosts the show, thanks for me, you're up, oh, please stay. And I'm just like, fuck you, kill yourself. <laughs> the poor uh, artist is now having to try to figure out a way to add you in and you in. Are you doing it though? That's well, awesome. it's easy. He has a black Sharpie for Tiffany. Uh, <laughs> Kim Condon, you did it again. Another great minute. Kimberly Condon. Kimberly Condon on Twitter and Instagram and everything. Guys, I had so much fun tonight. Um, I had so much fun with everyone. Pat Reagan, you're Patty Reagan on Twitter. Anything else you want to promote? Nope. Uh, uh, Tiffany Haddish is Tiffany Haddish. What do you, I know you always have like a long fucking list. So while you do that, uh, while you're listing your things for I only the got one thing to list, two things to list. Okay, what is it? Uh, Tyler Perry's what? No. <laughs> Tyler Perry fired me. Tyler Perry fired me so that I could go to NBC and be on the Gerard Carmichael show that'll be coming out uh, August 26th. Yes. Yeah. So make sure you check that out on NBC. Big supporter Watch and support that. And I'm in a movie. I just got back from doing a movie with Key and Peele called Keanu that's coming out next Ooh, April. Nice. It's about to be back. Yeah. Man, Steve 
Steve Trevino is Steve Trevino on uh, Twitter. You should have let her go last, because I don't have anything going on. Uh, Netflix, uh -huh. watch his special. Watch it's probably relatable. I'll be in Chicago headlining uh, August at the Improv, so check that out. And Steve Simone is Steve Simone, S-I-M-E-O-N-E. -E. Nobody gets that, thank you. I'm a spelling bee champion. And I also have a, I have a, a podcast about stand-up comedy called The Process. This is a part of the show, guys. Steve, anything else you want to promote? Yeah. Oh, yes, your amazing podcast. Yeah, my podcast, Good Times. Yeah. Uh, my album, Remember This, and Toronto, August 14th. And right nice. when you thought we couldn't blow your mind anymore, we bring back up the great Ryan J.E. Belton. <laughs> the house artist. He draws an episode, starts at the beginning, oh and ends it. He got everything tonight. You guys got to make sure to see Ryan J.E. Tiffany, Why do I look like a man? Trevino. <laughs> I look like a man with hair. Put the bowl on there, goddammit. <laughs> Guys, we, uh, Brian and I are both going to stand up live in Phoenix, Arizona, September... 17th. September 17th. That's us announcing that for the first time. I'm going to be at the Toronto Just for Laughs Festival at the end of August, or, or at end of September. And, uh, Kill Tony's doing crazy things. Uh, we have uh, one of the most amazing uh, guests you could ever ask for in the world coming next week uh, instead of this week. I cannot announce who that guest is. Um, it's a really big deal. That's I, I, or else I would announce it. So I, I'm not going to tell you assholes. You should have laughed at the Juger joke. Right? Thank you so much, live audience. Have a great night.